Scientific Miracles in the Quran Part 2 The Quran on the Atom, Allah says. Dot and not absent from your Lord is any part of an atom's weight within the earth or within the heaven or anything smaller than it or greater, but that I in a clear register. 1061 In this beautiful verse, Allah clarifies that nothing is hidden from him in this universe, no matter how minute it may be. It was believed that the atom was the smallest entity in the universe. After it was split, smaller entities were discovered having positive electrical properties, such as protons, and negative electrical properties, such as electrons. In 1939, the German scholars Hahn and Strassmann at the University of Berlin split a uranium atom. With further research, particles which are even more minute, like the quark, have been discovered. Modern sciences have reached a high level of technical development and scientific advancement in various fields of life. The future still awaits further development. This process will continue until the day of resurrection. The collective efforts of all humankind and fields of knowledge will never measure up to, or even come close to, Allah's knowledge and ability. Allah the Exalted says, and they ask you, O Muhammad, about the soul, say, the soul is of the affair of my Lord. And mankind have not been given of knowledge except a little. 4785. The knowledge of Allah and His abilities are boundless and unmatchable. Allah, in this Quranic verse, has laid out a simple explanation for us so that our minds will be able to recognize and absorb the huge difference between His knowledge and ours. Glory be to Allah, the Quran on human and Byronic phases. Allah says regarding the stages the fetus goes through. And indeed we created man out of an extract of clay. Thereafter we made him as mixed drops, of the male and female sexual discharge, and lodged it in a safe lodging. Then we made the mixed drops of fluid into a clot, then we made the clot into a little lump of flesh, then we made out of that lump of flesh bones, then we clothed the bones with flesh. And then we brought it forth as another creation. So blessed be Allah, the best of creators. After that, surely, you will die. Then, again, surely, you will be resurrected on the day of resurrection. 23 12 to 14. The stages a human passes through are Extract of clay, Adam, the father of humankind, was created from clay. This indicates that humans are a distinct creation, humankind did not evolve from other species. Mixed sperm, in this stage, male and female discharge mix in the womb, the result of which the egg may become fertilized or die by the will of Allah. If the egg becomes fertilized, the first stages of creation would commence. Allah says, Indeed, we created man from a fluid mixture that we may try him, and we made him hearing and seeing. 76-2 If the sperm fails to fertilize the ovum, it is cast out of the womb along with it. But if it fertilizes the egg and creates a zygote, it clings to the side of the womb in the form of a blastula. If Allah wills that it clings to the womb, it moves on to the allegous stage, i.e. a leech-like, suspending thing. O oh people, if you should be in doubt about the resurrection, then, consider that, indeed, we created you from dust, then from mixed drops of fluid, then from a clinging clot, and then from a lump of flesh, formed and unformed that we may show you. And we settle in the wombs whom we will for a specified term, then we bring you out as a child, and then, we develop you, that you may reach your, time of, maturity. And among you is he who is taken in, early, death, and among you is he who is returned to the most decrepit, old, age so that he knows, after, once having knowledge, nothing dot and you see the earth barren, but when we send down upon it rain, it givers and swells and growls, something of every beautiful kind, 2 to 5. Clot clinging thing, it is described as such since it clings to the womb, in a manner similar to a leech which feeds off the blood of other creatures. Chewed substance, it is described as such since the embryo is similar in appearance to a chewed substance. Formation bones, covering of bones with flesh. Development of embryo, into a different form, wherein the proportioning of the body takes place and life is breathed into it. The human embryo goes through a number of stages within three layers of darkness, as Allah says. He created you from one soul. Then he made from it its mate, and he produced for you from the grazing livestock eight pairs. 
he creates you in the wombs of your mother's creation after creation within three darknesses. That is Allah, your Lord to him belongs dominion. There is no deity except him, so how are you averted? 3968. This verse states that the embryo is covered in three coverings or layers, referred to as darknesses in this verse. Water, air, light and heat cannot penetrate these coverings. Nor can they be seen with the naked eye. Dr. Maurice Bukai said, Modern. Interpreters of the Quran see in this verse the three anatomical layers that protect the infant during gestation. The abdominal wall, the uterus itself, and the surroundings of the fetus, placenta, embryonic membranes, amniotic fluid. The embryo is also placed in a safe place. Allah says, Did we not create you from a liquid disdained? And we placed it in a firm lodging for a known extent. And we determined it, and excellent are we to determine. 77 20 to 23. Dr. Gary Miller tells us, a reporter asked Professor Keith Moore. Don't you think that maybe the Arabs might have known about these things the description of the embryo, its appearance and how it changes and grows? Maybe they were not scientists, but maybe they did some crude dissections on their own carved up people and examined these things. The professor immediately pointed out to him that he, the reporter, had missed a very important point. All of the slides of the embryo that had been shown and had been projected in the film had come from pictures taken through a microscope. He said, it does not matter if someone had tried to discover embryology 14 centuries ago, they could not have seen it. All of the descriptions in the Quran of the appearance of the embryo are of the organism when it is still too small to see with the naked eye. Therefore, one needs a microscope to see it. Since such a device had only been around for little more than 200 years. Dr. Moore taunted, maybe 14 centuries ago someone secretly had a microscope and did this research, making no mistakes anywhere. Then he somehow taught Muhammad and convinced him to put this information in his book. Then he destroyed his equipment and kept it a secret forever. Do you believe that? You really should not unless you bring some proof because it is such a ridiculous theory. When he was asked, how do you explain this information in the Quran? Dr. Moore's reply was, it could only have been divinely revealed. Dr. Gerald C. Goringer said, this description antedates by many centuries the recording of the various stages of human embryonic and fetal development recorded in the traditional scientific literature. What is mentioned in the Quran about the oceans? The Quran on the barrier between the seas. Allah says, and it is he who has released simultaneously the two seas, one fresh and sweet and one salty and bitter, and he placed between them a barrier and prohibiting partition. 2553, Allah says. And it is he who has released simultaneously, the two seas, one fresh and sweet and one salty and bitter, and he placed between them a barrier and prohibiting partition. 2553. The fact that the waters of the oceans do not mix with each other has only been discovered lately by oceanographers. This is due to the physical force called surface tension. Wherein waters of neighboring seas do not mix. It is caused by the difference in the density of their waters. Surface tension prevents them from mingling with one another, just as if a thin wall were between them. The Amazon River's water pours into the Atlantic Ocean and yet preserves its straits even after it goes out 200 meters into the ocean. The Quran on darkness in the seas and internal waves. Allah says, or, they are, like layers of darkness within an unfathomable sea which is covered by waves, upon which are waves, over which are clouds, layers of darkness. Some of them upon others. When one puts out his hand, therein, can hardly see it, and he to whom Allah has not granted light, for him there is no light. 2440. It is well known and affirmed scientifically that at extreme depths of the ocean there is no light, only darkness. The cause for this is that sun rays cannot reach it, for oceans range from being a few hundred meters deep to being 10,994 meters deep. The darkness in the deep seas and oceans is found to begin at around a depth of 200 meters and below. At this depth, there is almost no light. Below a depth of 1,000 meters there is absolutely no light penetration. Therefore, most of the sun's rays are absorbed by the water at 100 meters. This portion of the sea is known as the luminous portion. Thereafter 1% of the sun's rays are visible at 150 meters, and 0.01% of the rays at 200 meters. The ozone layer in the atmosphere reflects most of the ultraviolet rays, whereas the clouds reflect 30% and absorb 19% of these rays. Only 51% of these rays reach the sea. Between 3% and 30% of the sunlight is reflected at the sea surface. Then almost all of the seven colors of the light spectrum are absorbed one after another in the first 200 meters, except the blue wavelength. 
the Quran and eternal waves. Scientists have also recently discovered that there are internal waves which occur on density interfaces between layers of different densities. The internal waves cover the deep waters of seas and oceans because the deep waters have a higher density than the waters above them. Internal waves act like surface waves. They can also break, just like surface waves. Internal waves cannot be seen by the human eye, but they can be detected by studying temperature or salinity changes at a given location. For example, the Mediterranean. Sea's water is warm, saline, and less dense, compared to the Atlantic Ocean's water. When Mediterranean water enters the Atlantic over the Gibraltar sill, it moves several hundred kilometers into the Atlantic at a depth of about 1,000 meters with its own warm, saline, and less dense. Characteristics The Mediterranean Water stabilizes at this depth. Although there are large waves, strong currents, and tides in these seas, they do not mix or transgress this barrier. This information has only been known to us in this age, with the advanced technology and equipment available to detect these events. The Prophet lived in a desert climate far from the ocean, and he did not travel across any oceans. The fact that the Quran mentions this phenomenon indicates the veracity of the Quran. The Quran on formation of clouds and rain. Allah says, and it is he who sends the winds as good tidings before his mercy until, when they have carried heavy rain clouds. We drive them to a dead land and we send down rain therein and bring forth thereby, some of all the fruits. Thus will we bring forth the dead, perhaps you may be reminded. 757. Allah also says, And we have sent the fertilizing winds and sent down water from the sky and given you drink from it. And you are not its stalkers. 1522. Modern science has affirmed the scientific points mentioned in these verses of the Quran. The winds carry water particles which are rich in salt up into the atmosphere. These particles which are called aerosols, function as water traps and form cloud drops by collecting around the water vapor themselves. The clouds are formed from water vapor that condenses around the salt crystals or dust particles in the air. Because the water droplets in these clouds are very small, with a diameter between 0.01 and 0.02 millimeters, the clouds are suspended in the air, and spread across the sky. Thus, the sky is covered in clouds. The water particles that surround salt crystals and dust particles thicken and form raindrops, so drops that become heavier than the air leave the clouds and start to fall to the ground as rain. Allah says, Do you not see that Allah drives? Clouds then he brings them together, then he makes them into a mass, and you see the rain emerge from within it. And he sends down from the sky, mountains, of clouds within which is hail. And he strikes with it whom he wills and averts it from whom he wills. The flash of its lightning almost takes away the eyesight. 2443. Rain clouds are formed and shaped according to definite systems and stages. The formation stages of cumulonimbus, a type of rain cloud, are 1 and D stage, being driven along, clouds are carried along, that is, they are driven along, by the wind. Second stage joining, then, small clouds cumulus clouds, driven along by the wind D join together, forming a larger cloud. 3 and D stage, stacking, when the small clouds join together, updrafts within the larger cloud increase. The updrafts near the center of the cloud are stronger than those near the edges. These updrafts cause the cloud body to grow vertically so the cloud is stacked up. This vertical growth causes the cloud body to stretch into cooler regions of the atmosphere. Where drops of water and hail formulate and begin to grow larger and larger. When these drops of water and hail become too heavy for the updrafts to support them, they begin to fall from the cloud as rain, hail, etc. A cloud becomes electrified as hail falls through a region in the cloud of supercooled droplets and ice crystals. As liquid droplets collide with the hailstone, they freeze on contact and release latent heat. This keeps the surface of the hailstone warmer than that of the surrounding ice crystals. When the hailstone comes in contact with an ice crystal, an important phenomenon occurs. Electrons flow from the colder object toward the warmer object. Hence, the hailstone becomes negatively charged. The same effect occurs when supercooled droplets come in contact with a hailstone and tiny splinters of positively charged ice break off. These lighter positively charged particles are then carried to the upper part of the cloud by updrafts. The hail falls towards the bottom of the cloud. Thus the lower part of the cloud becomes negatively charged. These negative charges are then discharged as lightning. We conclude from this that hail is the major factor in producing lightning. Allah says. And the thunder exalts, Allah, with praise of him, and the angels, as well from fear of him, 
and he sends thunderbolts and strikes there with whom he wills while they dispute about Allah. And he is severe in assault. 1313. The Quran on Animals. Allah says. And indeed, for you in grazing livestock is a lesson. We give you drink from what is in their bellies, between excretion and blood, pure milk, palatable to drinkers. 1666. Maurice Bukai said, From a scientific point of view, physiological notions must be called upon to grasp the meaning of this verse. The substances that ensure the general nutrition of the body come from chemical transformations which occur along the length of the digestive tract. These substances come from the contents of the intestine. On arrival in the intestine at the appropriate stage of chemical transformation, they pass through its wall and towards the systemic circulation. This passage is affected in two ways, either directly, by what are called the emphatic vessels, or indirectly, by the portal circulation. This conducts them first to the liver, where they undergo alterations, and from here they then emerge to join the systemic circulation. In this way, everything passes through the bloodstream. The constituents of milk are secreted by the mammary giants. These are nourished, as it were, by the product of food digestion brought to them via the bloodstream. Blood therefore plays the role of collector and conductor of what has been extracted from food, and it brings nutrition to the mammary glands, the producers of milk, as it does to any other organ. Here the initial process which sets everything else in motion is the bringing together of the contents of the intestine and blood at the level of the intestinal wall itself. This very precise concept is the result of the discoveries made in the chemistry and physiology of the digestive system. It was totally unknown at the time of Prophet Muhammad and has been understood only in recent times. I consider that the existence in the Quran of the verse referring to these concepts can have no human explanation on account of the period in which they were formulated. The Quran on Mountains, Allah says. Have we not made the earth as a bed, and the mountains as pegs? 78 to 7 Scientists explain the importance of mountains as being pegs which stabilize the earth saying, Mountains have underlying roots. These roots are deeply embedded in the ground, thus, mountains have a shape like a peg. The Earth's crust is 30 to 60 kilometers deep, this being known due to the seismograph. Also, it is known due to this machine that every mountain has an underlying root, which stabilizes the crust of the Earth with the underlying layers, and prevents the Earth from shaking. Therefore, the mountain is similar to a nail, which holds different pieces of wood together. Allah says, and he has affixed into the earth, mountains standing firm, lest it should shake with you, and rivers and roads, that you may guide yourselves. 1615. Modern science attests to the fact that mountains are distributed evenly and perfectly on earth, which also stabilize the earth. Especially those mountains which the geologists call asymmetrical mountain ranges which are to be found in every continent. How then could an unlettered man, whose nation was mostly unlettered, know these facts? 